What is going on everybody? Joe Oceanside here and today I want to talk about how to get started using a full face snorkel mask. I want to recommend that you learn how to use a traditional mask and snorkel first before you learn how to use one of these. I do have a video training on how to snorkel right here, so please go check it out. But with that said, let's jump into the video. Now guys, I want to start with the number one rule of snorkeling. Always go with a buddy. Never go snorkeling alone. Snorkeling with a traditional mask or a full face snorkel mask can be dangerous if you go alone. Even though snorkeling is generally safe, there can be some potential hazards out in the ocean. There could be tides that are unexpected, waves, there's boats, there's all kinds of things. You can have a medical emergency and you don't want to be out there alone. And anyway, snorkeling is a fun thing that you want to do with friends anyway. So never go snorkeling alone. Always bring a buddy with you. Make sure you stay near each other and always keep an eye out for each other. So when selecting a mask, you want to put it on your face and you want to make sure that the outer seal of the mask makes a perfect seal all the way around your face. You want it to make good contact all over. You don't want there to be any hard spots or any loose spots. And one more extremely important point about fit, there's also not only the seal on the outside, but there's also the seal that goes over your nose, which separates the eyes from the mouth portion. So when you put this on and try it out, you want to make sure that you have a good seal in between your mouth and your eyes. You want to keep that air separated. Now before we get in the water and start snorkeling, we want to make sure that our gear is set up properly. So most of these masks here come with a detachable snorkel like this. So it's real easy to travel with. Now when you put this together, you want to make sure it's put together properly. Now different snorkels may attach differently. Just make sure you read the instructions mantle that came with your snorkel and make sure you attach this properly. So go ahead and pull on it. Make sure it's on there good and tight. You don't want this popping out on you out in the water. You want to go ahead and check the straps. You want to make sure that the straps are attached properly on the mask and you want to make sure that you can go ahead and adjust this somehow after you put it on your face. Also you want to look in the mask. You want to inspect the inside of the mask, make sure the seal is all good all the way around. And you also want to inspect the check valves. There's little check valves internally on this mask and the check valves make sure that all the air flows in the proper direction. So look at all the check valves, make sure they're all in place, make sure they're not uh, obstructed with any debris or sand or anything like that. Make sure they're nice and clean and they sit flat where they should be. So before you get started in the water, go ahead and put the mask on your face and breathe in and out. When you breathe in, you want to feel the air come down across your eyes, which eliminates any fog. So that new fresh air coming in always keeps the fog away. And when you breathe out, you want it to go out the side of the mask, back out the snorkel, out the exhaust valves. When you breathe out, you do not want to feel the air across your eyes. If you breathe out and you feel air around your eyes, that means the seal in here is not working properly or one of the check valves in here is not working properly. Now, if anything is not sealed and not working properly, that can be extremely dangerous because that can cause you to rebreathe your own air over and over and that can be potentially deadly. So we want to make sure this fit is perfect. So put it on and take a few breaths. Make sure you feel the air coming in the center portion here and then breathing out the exhaust ports of the snorkel. Now your full face snorkel may differ, but again, where the air comes in and when the air goes out are two different locations. If air is coming in and out of the same part, that means something is wrong with your mask and you should not use it. That can be very dangerous. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. So what I do is I put the straps kind of on the back of my head first. And I put the mask right here on my forehead. I get situated and then I go ahead and I pull it forward and pull the mask down into place. All right, now you can go ahead and adjust the straps here. Make sure you have a good fit. Make sure it's fit tight all the way around your face. And make sure you have a good seal between your eyes and your mouth. You do not want to feel any air going from your mouth back up to your eyes. All right, so this mask has a great fit for me. I breathe in and out. I don't feel any air blowing on my eyes and I feel the air going out the mouth and out the side ports up here feels very comfortable and I like this fit very good. So I'm going to go ahead and start snorkeling with this one here. So getting started with, once you have the mask securely and comfortably put on your face, you can stand in the shallow end of the pool. Now very slowly lower your face into the pool. Now this entire time, just make sure that you keep breathing. Just breathe in and out like normal. If this is the first time you've ever done this, it may feel a little strange. 
If you're used to using a traditional mask and snorkel, it may feel a little bit awkward as well, not having something plugged in your mouth. Now, as you're out snorkeling, you wanna keep in mind proper positioning. You wanna make sure that you're looking down in the water. You don't wanna be looking up. You don't wanna be doing a doggy paddle and trying to keep your head above the water. That's gonna fatigue you, it's gonna hurt your neck, and it's gonna wear you out. You wanna keep your face looking down, and that's gonna keep this snorkel in the upright position like this, which is where it needs to be. If you turn your head this too far back or too far sideways like this, you could dunk the tip of the snorkel underwater, and that could obstruct your breathing. Now, when you're out snorkeling out in the water, every minute or so, you do wanna look up, look around, and be aware of your surroundings. You wanna see if there's any boats coming towards you. You wanna see where your snorkel buddy is. Because remember, the most important rule of snorkeling is never snorkel alone. Always be with a buddy. Okay, now that you're comfortable with your face down, breathing underwater with the snorkel, go ahead and make sure you have your fins on and we can start swimming around. Now, as you're swimming around, make sure you maintain the proper positioning. You wanna keep your face down, slightly looking forward. That's the best position for you. That's gonna make kicking through the water very easy and comfortable. So go ahead, start kicking with your fins and moving through the water. Now, as you're kicking with your fins, you wanna make sure that you don't swing your legs too high out of the water. You wanna just barely pop your foot out of the water and then push down again like that. And it's kinda of like riding a bicycle. Just keep going forward. Now that you're comfortable with breathing underwater with the snorkel and paddling around with your fins, now's the time to go ahead and we're gonna dunk our heads completely underwater. These full face snorkel masks have a ball stopper up here on the snorkel. So when this goes all the way underwater, the ball goes up and it shuts it off completely. So no water should get in your mask. So go ahead, dunk your head completely underwater and then come back up again. Do that a couple times so you're comfortable with it. Now you can go ahead and do it a little longer. Dunk down and hold your head under a little longer. Come back up and make sure you keep breathing. Now when you're out there snorkeling with this full face snorkel mask, this is really designed for just surface snorkeling, but you do wanna make sure that you're comfortable with getting splashed on or going under the water momentarily. So do that a few times and make sure you're comfortable with it. One of the skills we wanna work on with this full face snorkel mask is clearing water out of it. Now what I want you to do is in the pool while you're wearing the full face snorkel mask, go ahead and pull the mask slightly away from your face and let the mask actually fill up with water. This may be scary or uncomfortable, but I highly recommend you get used to doing it in the pool before you get out in the ocean and you have to do it out there. So lift this mask off your face, let it fill up with water, then go ahead and put the mask back on your face, lift your head above water, and you should see that the water will naturally drain out of the mask and out of the bottom of the snorkel. So as long as you can hold your breath long enough, the mask should clear itself of water. So go ahead and try that a few times. Now that you're comfortable with passively clearing the water out of your mask, I want you to go ahead and I want you to actively clear the water out of your mask. So this time, pull the mask forward, go underwater, let the mask fill up completely with water. Then stand up and I want you to tilt the bottom of the mask forward and dump all the water out of the mask, put it back on your face and then keep snorkeling around. Now you may have to do that out in the ocean. You may get water in, you may have a leak, you may have some reason where you get water inside this mask and you wanna be able to be comfortable in recovering the mask and getting all the water out of it. Another skill we wanna work on is taking the mask completely off and putting the mask completely back on while we're out treading water. If you're out snorkeling in a deep spot and for some reason you had to pull your mask off, talk to somebody or whatever, you would need to be able to put the mask back on while treading water. So practice that. Tread water in the deep end of the pool, take your mask off, put your mask on, and then go ahead and start snorkeling around and see if you can do that. Do it a few times and get comfortable with it. Okay, now that we've practiced all those skills, one last advanced thing I want you to try is diving down with this mask. Now these types of masks are really made for just snorkeling at the surface. They're not made for diving down. They're not made for free diving. They really don't work well for that at all. As you go down, you will feel an incredible amount of pressure on your face and it crushes in on your face. And it's just not the mask made for that. But you may wanna drop down a couple feet so you can get a closer look at some fish or some coral. So we wanna go ahead and practice. Let's go in the deep end. Let's dive down underwater and let's practice doing that in the pool before you get out in the ocean. Now in order to do this, you wanna be in the proper snorkeling position. Face down, looking down, breathe, just get real comfortable, takes a few deep breaths for about a minute or so. And once you're all good and comfortable and you're ready to go, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your arms and your head and you're gonna drive it forward and down and you're gonna get your feet up in the air, and when you get those feet up in the air, it's gonna act like a weight, and it's gonna push your body down underwater. 
that's your dive down. Once your feet get below the water, you can then start kicking and you can swim around below the surface of the water and get a closer look at some of that marine life down there. When you're all done with that dive, you're gonna come back up to the surface, you're gonna blow your air out and you're just gonna continue breathing as normal. Now again, I wanna talk about safety using the full face snorkel mask. The number one rule when out snorkeling with these masks is go with a buddy. Never go alone, that's the number one rule. The number two rule is if you ever see any fog in your mask, stop snorkeling immediately. Take the mask off, breathe fresh air, and figure out what's going on with your mask or stop moving, using your mask altogether. If you do start to get fog in this mask, it could be a sign of a very serious and possibly deadly problem. Number three rule, if you feel uncomfortable in any way, stop snorkeling immediately. If you have a headache, if you get dizzy, if you get tired, if you're uncomfortable, if you're nauseous or anything like that, if you're disoriented, stop snorkeling immediately, start breathing some fresh air, and take a look at your mask and see what's going on with it. It could be a sign of a serious problem with your mask. If you have an improperly designed mask or an improperly fitted mask, you could be breathing your same CO2 over and over again. If CO2 builds up in the air inside this mask, it could lead to a very dangerous situation that could potentially kill you. So if you're uncomfortable in any way, stop snorkeling immediately. All right, everybody, thanks for watching this video. I hope you gained some confidence and I hope you go out there and use your full face snorkel mask safely and enjoy it. If you enjoyed this video and this type of underwater content, please give the video a like and please consider subscribing to the channel for more great videos, training, gear, locations, all out in the water and things like that. Thanks again, now get out in the ocean and explore.